Hey, Mike with Nerd Problems Gaming here. In today's video, we're doing a review on The Takeover, so let's get into it. Now, The Takeover is an arcade-style side-scrolling beat-em-up that's heavily inspired by classic beat-em-ups and games like Streets of Rage and Final Fight. Now, the general story of the game, the city that you live in has been overrun by gangs and crime lords, and all of the separate gangs that used to be fighting against each other have now combined into one. And on top of that, these gangs kidnap your adoptive daughter, and so you go on a mission as Ethan and Megan and their friend Connor to rescue your daughter and you'll fight through waves and waves of gang members as well as bosses and each player plays a little bit different and so they'll have their stats actually broken down by things like the range they have, the speed they have, and their power. And so while the characters aren't drastically different, you do notice a little bit of a difference as you play. On top of that, you have your general punch button, your kick button, your jump, but there's also a special move button that you can use which will sacrifice some of your health and unleash a special move. There's also multiple forms of this, so depending on the direction that you push when using the special, it will unleash a slightly different special attack. And again, this varies from character to character how that special attack operates. Another cool feature of the game is that you'll steadily build up a special gauge where you'll be able to unleash a massive attack that hits all enemies on the screen. There's even a rage meter that builds up over time and once that's full you can unleash it and for a certain period of time as the rage bar decreases you'll be invincible and your attacks are much stronger. So it's great to time this out for an area when a bunch of enemies are coming at you all at once to make sure you can get through that challenge. So the game has the base story mode which you'll go through seven different levels, but it also features alternate endings, depending on what you choose to do at the very end of the game. And on top of that, there's also a couple unique stages thrown in between the classic beat-em-up stages to keep you on your toes. So there's a car chase stage to get to the next location. So that definitely keeps things fresh and switches up the gameplay a little bit. There's several weapons you can pick up, like swords, crowbars, and even machine guns to take out enemies. All of your characters will also have a base gun that they can use, and so you'll pick up ammunition throughout the different levels as well. On top of that, there's a couple extra modes within the game that you can unlock as well. There's also a challenge mode where you'll go through all the levels and then you'll have multiple challenges that you'll need to try and accomplish throughout the run. So it might be something like not using your special move. And so that adds an additional element of replay to the game. And there's also some survival mode stages where you'll try and take out as many enemies as you can and survive as long as you can in this other unique mode. There's also some unlockables of additional playable characters. And so after you beat the game for the first time, you'll unlock that. In addition to that unlockable character, there's also a mode you can eventually unlock where you can switch between any of the characters at any time you want during the stage. There's multiple difficulty modes, and you can play local co-op as well. Sometimes the walking feels a little bit slow depending on which character you're playing as, so I kind of wish that might have been a, a little bit different. But overall, it's a great beat-em-up. It has a decent replay value with the multiple characters you can play as, and the fact that it has local co-op as well is a lot of fun too. But if you like classic side-scrolling beat-em-ups, I would definitely recommend checking out The Takeover. But let me know in the comments below, have you played this game yet? How do you think it ranks against other modern beat-em-ups that have come out recently? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. And if you like videos like this on video games, board games, and everything nerdy, check out one of our other videos here. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new nerd videos we put out. But once again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you more soon.